Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use version history in SharePoint using document libraries. If you enjoy Teams, SharePoint, Power Automate, and Power Apps videos, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe because we'll be putting on more videos in those areas. All right, so let's get into the video. So version history in SharePoint. Let me navigate to one of my document libraries. I have documents. And then I made a folder called version that I will be showing the files. To check the version history settings, you want to click on the cog wheel in the top right hand corner, library settings, more library settings. And this should take you in the settings of the document library. Uh, the second option, you want to click on versioning settings. And there's a few things on this page, but we're mostly looking at the document version history. Specify whether a version is created each time you edit the file in the document library. So every time I edit the file, it's going to create a new version. And if you want to do major and minor versions, you can do that. But I'm just going to do create major versions because that's all I pretty much use for now. So you can do um, versions from anywhere up to 50,000, I believe. Well, let me just double check. So we're just going to do that. And it says you must earn a number between 100 and 50,000. So I'm just going to do a thousand versions. So it's going to hold up to a thousand versions of um, edits on that file. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Navigate back to the document library. And let's go ahead and create an Excel file. And I'm just going to add some values in here so we can get some versions. All right, so I'm going to let this file actually save. I have auto save on in here. Let me go back, let me refresh this. And so if I click on the triple dot right here, there's an option for version history. As you can see, when I create the file, it made a version. And then when I added all the items in there, it created a version. So this option here, delete all versions. I would, don't recommend you doing this because it's not really needed unless like someone's trying to hide something. But if you click on the drop down, you have view. So this is going to show you some metadata about the file at that time. But also you have restore. So if I wanted to restore this version right here, I'm able to do so. I can also delete this version if I don't want this showing up anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and open the file once again. As you can see, my say my changes were saved. So if I click on file, go to info actually an option for version history right here. I'm going to click on this. As you can see, these are the major versions right here. So when I create the file, it made a version. And then when I added all that data, it made a version two. So if I click on the version one, this would be, and click on restore, it would go ahead and restore that file to the original version, which was version one. If I click on info version history again. As you can see, I have, there's the data and this is what I restored to. So let me exit out of this workbook, go back in the SharePoint document library, click on the triple dot version history. So now we actually have version three and version four. So if I click on version four, it opens an Excel file with that version. So if I click on version two, it actually opens an Excel file in that version. So you can actually open Excel files and do like a save as to get like a copy of that version, just as a record if you wanna use it later or if you wanna restore it up here. So you have a few options of when working with the version history. I recommend clicking on here, finding which file you want to restore to, maybe an intern one in, did a bunch of changes you didn't like. Well, good thing you have version history and SharePoint to use. So I highly recommend you guys check out this feature if you don't know about it, because it can be really helpful. You have a bunch of people going in the file and making changes. So that'll be the video on version history. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.